more because I do have more, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. I want to read you a little uh, testimony of somebody. Um, and yeah, I'd like to ask you uh, to pay attention and to help me help them if you can. If you can't, I'd l I know you can actually. If you can pray, if you let's get cut to the chase, and then we'll see what we can see. So now I have to share my screen because I did have it set up, but let's not be silly and pretend that I'm organised. That would be ridiculous. But because I'm going to cut this video down, potentially I'm going to have to introduce myself again. So anyway, let's get that ready because I can only share one thing at a time. Have I got the screen on the right thing? Uh, all right, let me just, okay. Hello. <laughs> I've got a request that I don't usually make at all. Um, I don't know that I ever will again. I may do. Uh, it's, yeah, I've spoken to JC. He's happy to share the video that I'm making right this second. Also, Jay Smith was very, very generously and kindly uh, offered to share a link that I passed on to him earlier. And anyone else I know who maybe I don't know about your social uh, media presence, but if you have one, please do take the link that is right this second in the description box um, and just stick it to the side until we, until I explain uh, why this is important. So I want to show you a picture of somebody that I've known for many years. This is a picture of him a few years ago. So let's try this with the technology. Mm, I don't know what you can see. Let's, let me see what you can see. Yes, okay. So the man in the middle, there's only one man in the shop, is called Terry. Um, and currently, he doesn't look like that. Uh, from my memory, like from when I think of him, I think of, uh, you know, 17, 18 stone, I don't know. If you work in kilos, you're a big, big man, very tall, very like a very comforting presence, very kind man, uh, a very patient and uh, like gentle family man and a gentleman, like in the old fashioned sense of the word. And he's like, he's a really lovely guy and I've known him years. And now I want to show you what he looks like now. Uh, and uh, maybe take a breath. I don't know. Right, so let's try and share that screen. I'm going to stop sharing that one. So keep that image in your mind, if you can, of that uh, that man with the children. Big, healthy man. And now I want to show you Terry at the moment. And I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can. Okay, so that's Terry at the moment. And I'm going to read you what his daughter, or his daughters, but one of them has written, written here. So let's let me get to the page that I'm sharing and then we read together. I tell you what, when I clicked the link, I was on the bus, I nearly collapsed like I just, I've seen a lot of people with cancer, like I really have. Uh, my nan is one of my earliest memories of somebody with cancer and I, I walked past her in the, in the hospice. I thought, isn't that lovely? My dad's speaking to that little old lady. I wonder who she is. Maybe he knows her from visiting Nanny. It was my nan. Like she'd been eaten away uh, by cancer. And let's have a let's see what's happening with Terry anyway. So in September of this year, I mean these past two years have been a bit horrific for everybody, but in September, uh, Terry, who is sixty-five, uh, was diagnosed with esophageal esophageal cancer. That's of the esophagus. The esophagus goes from the mouth right down. Uh, to the stomach, I guess, like intestines. It's your windpipe that is divided. There's a there's a something or other that I can't think of the name, epiglottis. Oh my gosh, my biology lessons just flew back into my brain. <laughs> there's a little flap. Sometimes if you're laughing and you eat, it goes down the wrong hole. It's the same hole, but the little flap may have uh, been out of place. So that whole part there, Terry's esophagus is uh, affected by cancer. And af like after many tests, um, he was given a medical pathway of having 70% of his esophagus removed and also 70% of his stomach. And that would have been, uh, that would have taken place uh, in two months time in February. Um, and that would have meant that there would be no further evidence of uh, the cancer, which is NED, no evidence of disease. 
However, if the um, consultants found any cancerous cells anywhere else at all prior to the procedure, it would not be able to go ahead. And a couple of weeks before Christmas, um, yeah, they found that it had spread. Uh, and therefore, they, they couldn't uh, have that course of, course of action. And in Britain, at least, um, the treatment that he needs to have is not available on the social, like on the socialised healthcare that we have that is propped up by capitalism, obviously. So, yeah, it spread to his liver. And uh, since his diagnosis, he's lost five stone. That's uh, 50, 70 pounds. Um, for anyone who works in old money, I don't know. Um, and he can't eat and he can't drink. And that's why he looks the way he does. And I'll show you his uh, before picture again in a bit because, yeah. Uh, and he has to be uh, fed solely with a tube because the tumour that he has is big enough to block his entire esophagus. And so what they're doing, his family, the Reuben family, they are trying to raise quite a big amount of money, to be fair, although I know at the moment two other people who are currently like in advanced stages of cancer and luckily uh, they are both able to receive treatment. Uh, that's a fib. One of them is currently receiving treatment on the NHS. The other, I don't believe they're having treatment because of the progressive, you know, because of the advanced stage. It's a really unpleasant illness and because i believe because of covid uh, covid whatever i think that uh hospitals have sadly done a poor job of cancer screening and uh stuff like that in the interim whilst everybody's been focused on this on this disease that is like a 99 percent survival rate let's not go into that so the family uh, are currently speaking to various treatment centers i believe I may be wrong. I believe they've uh, settled on one or they found one that is able to treat esophageal and liver cancer, as it now is, because it's two different cancers, and, and it's proton beam therapy. And it sounds a bit Star Trek, but I have heard of it before. It's not available uh, on the NHS to everybody. And there is only one machine in the UK for NHS patients. And this is not, this is, uh, yeah, that's, I don't think that's the pathway that he's going to be able to go down. So the good news is that somebody else who was in the same position as Terry, i.e. unable to be treated with a 70% removal of, of various parts of your, your body, um, had this treatment and is now 20 months in remission or recovery. Um, and that's not the only uh, case that the family have heard I'm reading this year. So the consultant um, has advised them that the cost of the treatment is 45 to 60,000 pounds. I don't know what that is in pretend money where you live um, in Canadian. That's just uh, under double American. I think it's 1.25. The conversion rate, you know, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, Euros will be a very similar number, but slightly more uh, 45 thousand to sixty thousand pounds and that's just the treatment without any consultant and other like a you know lesser like follow-up or proceeding treatments um and that ah there you go they have found a, a a center i won't name it but it's there on the text for anybody who wants to see that i don't know if you can see my cursor is there they also need to pay the money up front uh and once that has been done, it will take a month just over to arrange. So they're going to update this page as and when it automatically, I'll show you here. Hang on a minute. Let's just, let me finish what I'm reading. Yeah, what the what Sophie is saying and, and what I was going to suggest is that, I mean, once Jay Smith and JC and hopefully whoever else can share this, even if everybody gave one pound, which uh, I don't know what that is around your way, one dollar, one I don't know, one prayer would be like the one. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's not an inordinate amount of money when, it, when we appreciate how many of us there are on the planet. It's really not. And again, I don't want to hammer it home, but yeah, I had a time in my life when I was uh, poorly for a period of time and Terry came around and sat with me and uh, he really helped me a lot, and I don't know if he even like remembers doing it. I think he probably does, um, but I do. And that's that's the point of what I'm trying to say. So anyway, like uh, 
I feel odd asking you to, I don't actually, like, please do if you are able, not if you're not able, like, let's not be silly, but if you can, like, even the smallest amount, like, won't go unappreciated, certainly by his family. And I see in the list, I'm going to show you, hold up. Hmm. The last paragraph, I missed that earlier, it's so true. It says, if anyone knows our dad, he is there for any and every person who needs help. He always puts everyone before him and is truly one of a kind. Um, and they appreciate anyone that can help and uh, like thanks them from the bottom of uh, their hearts. And that's the whole Ruben family. So I just want to show you in terms of updates, like this here, I checked, I tested it, it does work, it goes up. Um, so yeah, that's that small amount of people there, that 595 people have managed to raise this amount of money here, which is just shy, like one pound shy of 17,000 if you've got a pound spare. And you can use your PayPal or you can use a debit or a credit card. You can choose the screen name that comes up. You can put a personalized note or you can hide the entirety of your donation, but they will still receive it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Back at the ranch, I just want to reiterate one thing. I just want to show you again the Terry that I know. And that's him there. Like, cancer. Cancer. Just such a... Okay, so... That's me asking you for money, please. Uh, not me asking you for money, but me asking you to like donate a very small amount if you're able, or a big amount. Like I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Um, it's very, very good reason. Now I'm going to get onto the uh, like the more so more pressing thing that I'd love you to do is to please pray for him. Like that's that's massively important and would be appreciated by me. Like certainly. So his name is Terry Rubin, and he's lovely, and he definitely needs a prayer. He looks like he needs a sandwich, to be fair, but that's not going to happen for a while unless he gets the treatment. So please. So that's it. So the link is hopefully in the description. Um, yeah, if you know, like if you are able to, like it, I guess it doesn't have to be this video being shared. It could be like you can print out the uh, the what's it? crowdfunding just giving whatever that link was I'm not record advertiser am i um yeah you can print it out and take it to your church and maybe stick it on the notice board i, I don't really mind you could uh, print it out fold it up and uh, like screw it up and throw it at people in the street maybe they'll open i don't know like what it is you can do if you can't do anything like you can do something you can pray if you're an atheist get your money out obviously because uh, you're not gonna be praying but yeah all right then Thank you. Lots of love. Cheers.